Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to consistently dominate on Kane. Now, there's two things you need to know about how to dominate on Kane consistently. Number one, if you are ganking a lot in the early game, you're rolling the dice. You're hoping those ganks work. If they don't, you'll probably fall behind and end up losing your team the game. The second thing is if you are playing blue Kane, you need to be playing on point. If you're on blue Kane and you're making mistakes here and there, and if the enemy team has tanks, you're going to lose. It's that simple. So what you need to know is you need to get a war down, make sure they're not going to invade you. In this case, their invade is actually pretty nasty. It's Nautilus. My bot lane's not really keeping watch over here. <laughs> the enemies could very well be in there. Another thing you should know about Kane is he has a good invade option. So understand what you're playing against. In this case, it's Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai takes first camp with leash super, super fast. Probably going to start on bot side. In my case, uh, I would have liked to have gotten a leash. That's all right. I don't need a leash. I'll farm just fine. You can start on Raptor. Do... Uh, red golem in this case i want to clear towards my blue buff so i'm going to start red and i'm going to take it this way I'm not actually sure if timo's in here i'm going to go ahead and use my sweeper just in case this timo's a smurf i wasn't going to roll the dice cyan didn't really keep watch being a paranoid person but that's all right that's how you win i'm going to take e level two go over the wall auto attack q through we're gonna kill the medium one, pull it away from the big one. Big one does a lot of damage. Auto attack Q through. We're gonna smite him. Killing the big one fast is important. That way you can clear through the camp. No one on my team really warded or really kept watch that well. So we're not sure if the Rek'Sai invaded us. I don't think she would. She can't necessarily kill us early, or at least not very easily, because we're pretty damn slippery and we do a lot of damage as well. But like I was saying, Red Kane's a lot more stable, a lot safer. Their team does have a uh, Grass Teemo, which gets pretty tanky. They also have Nautilus. I don't think Blue Kane would have been that good of an option here. I think Red Kane's going to give us higher value having to deal with their Katarina. That way we can knock her up. We're going to auto attack Q. And you can use your W. Your W early game is relatively low damage. It does barely more damage than your auto attacks on Kane and... It's pretty slow, so if you're gonna use your W, use it in between your autos. Just do keep in mind you're gonna be running out of mana. Every time you ease up, you should really try to be using it. When you're farming, Rek'Sai 12 CS, double buff. That means she took both buffs in one other camp. Most likely her Raptors are still up. So we're gonna go over there and take that. We're gonna smite that bad boy. We're gonna five camp clear. It's normally your safest on Kane. You can go for a six camp clear, but after five camps, you can normally gank then scuttle or five camp directly into scuttle. In this case, Rek'Sai's top. I think Rek'Sai is on that scuttle crap, so I'm going to ping it out. Auto attack Q through. Auto attack W the whole thing. Remember, we saw Rek'Sai with double buffs and 12 CS. That means yeah, every camp's 4 CS, by the way. So double buffs, 12 CS. That's double buffs plus one other camp. Odds are both of these were up, and she probably just took Gromp. Rek'Sai loses a lot of HP on uh, Raptors early. So the odds of her taking Raptors with that much CS is basically none. So now she's going to lose two camps. This is how... I didn't even have to go in for a gank. This is how you get ahead on Kane. As long as you're keeping track of enemy jungler whenever they show up on the map, you're willing to take advantage of it. This is how you build easy leads. Vayne still has too much health. I don't want to gank that. I haven't seen Rek'Sai cross through mid. We're going to try to get some vision down here. Oh, there she is. We don't really want to fuck with her. She'll be kill us. Going to hit her with W. I'm going to back off. Q over the wall. Like I said, I don't really want to fuck with her unless my teammates are here. Katarina's popping off. This isn't a situation we want to be in. We're going to Q over. We're going to E over. And we're good to go. Really bad situation. We lived though. I only went back in because of Felio, so it turns out Katarina was popping off. There's a chance Katarina re-engages here. I'll just Q. Yeah, people chase a lot. They love to chase. Fixing to pop over the wall and take wolves. We can skip Gromp here. All of our camps are coming back up. We'll get back into the power farm aspect and we'll start to scale that way. On Kane, your ganks early are really trash. Unless the enemies are pushed up this far on Kane, odds are you're not going to get a kill in your gank. And I know you guys want to get that juicy essence, but if you're not going to get a kill, if you're trying to consistently carry, then uh, ganking when you know you can't get a kill is kind of pointless on him. Auto attack WQ. We're going to E whenever it's up. Try to get that extra healing. Make sure you go through the wall. But otherwise, it won't count, obviously. And we're going to take Golem's reset. We're a little too low to gank. 
Timo has Ignite. If he unleashes that on us, auto attack, blind dart, auto attack, Ignite, we're dead. Max Q first. And on Red Cane, you normally want to max W second. W is a really good max. Blue Cane, you'll normally max W first. You should take two, three points in Q and then max W. But Red Cane, Q max first is better, and then W max. We're going to reset. We're level five, about two thirds of the way to level six. We haven't died yet. We're not in a great jungle matchup. Everything's going pretty good. We're going to go Red Smite and double dorans going blue smite is a good option in this case look at their damage they have katarina timo Vayne, rexai having red smite for any of them when they're all inning me is going to be amazing we'll be taking 20 percent less damage our red buffs up in 20 seconds kind of want to kill rexai on hers we're going to eat through the wall to get to where we're wanting going to get to where we want to go we're so far away from a potential gank that using it that early isn't too bad. Because it'll be up by the time we want to use it. Rek'Sai should be on red buff. I'm thinking about invading her. This seems risky, but I do have mid prio. LeBlanc's doing well. And Rek'Sai doesn't actually have any gold. I'm ahead of her. She has no kills, no assists. I should be able to solo her. I'm going to W. Auto attack Q. Got it. Got the red buff. Got a bunch of red essence. That's perfect. I can Q over walls. If you're in dangerous territory, hold on to Q. Nautilus is still pushed up. No one's coming for me. I can take this for free. Very nice. Botling got the kills. I was about to go over there in a second. I figured the tribe was warded anyways. And there, didn't think I could get there in time. And now we're level 6. And guess what? Rek'Sai has to back. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to go for Dragon. Once you have full jungle item... That is, you really should be ganking a lot more. If you don't have second form, but if you have full jungle item, which you should have before the 10 minute mark, full jungle item, your ganks are really strong. There's no real lane item for the most part. Laners can buy it and get at the same time that you can have full jungle item, which gives junglers in general a huge advantage because jungle items are super inexpensive to complete in comparison. There we go, finish that off. E through the wall, get our healing. And we are really close. After Blue Grant, we'll actually, we'll actually have it. Gonna auto attack Q. My red buff is vulnerable. Good chance Rek'Sai goes for it. Figured we should do Dragon while she backs. After we took Rek'Sai's red buff, the odds of her running back to this area were just so slim that might as well take it. Gonna take both at the same time. Normally, early game, you don't want to take Blue and Gromp at the same time because you take so much damage, unless you're about to recall anyways, in which case, you might as well. I need to take Wolves real quick, and then I'll have it. I'm already in the area, so might as well get him spawning in. So we haven't made a lot of risks. We haven't gone in for any ganks. We haven't risked dying in ganks. If the enemy jungler shows up, oftentimes you'll lose the 2v2 on Kane early. We've just been focusing on appropriate farming, getting our ward down getting Oracle Lens, and punishing Rek'Sai. Every time the enemy jungler goes to gank, if you're playing a power farm jungler like Kane, you need to retaliate. And I also got a pink word. I already have it laid. I'm going to hold on to it. There's a good chance my red side's already gone. I'm going to run to Raptors. Normally, I would go to Golem Red Raps, but I think Rek'Sai might have already taken Scuttle Red and be on my Raptors instead. going to E. We have good vision. Yeah, she already took everything. I'm not surprised. She's top side, but look, at full jungle item. This is a big power spike. Do you see how we got it pre-10? We haven't ganked shit. We've just been farming, and we have full jungle item pre-10. We should have it around the 9-minute mark, preferably before the 10-minute mark. No one else on the map has a full item. Literally no one. Skip the mushroom. Auto attack Q. Do you see I'm holding on to my W? Your W you have to stand still to use on normal cane and red cane. So if you're already on top of the enemies, try to hit them with your autos and Qs as much as possible. And they'll juke back and forth on their own. They'll juke non-stop to try to dodge W even though you're not using it. Because they're trying to dodge it. It's a huge slow. I found you, Rek'Sai. I knew you'd be over here. You cleared every single one of my camps and you thought I wouldn't come check for you. Okay. Got some more essence. Very nice. Cat is dead, LeBlanc's dead, Rek'Sai's low. I'm going to take Rek'Sai's camps here. Rek'Sai took all three of my camps. I knew she didn't have time to clear three of hers and then three of mine. 
and the amount of time it took me to take dragon and reset. I guess I took dragon farm three camps. Here we go. We got scuttle crab. Timo is still doesn't once again doesn't have full item. Look look who has a full item. The only person right now at the 10 minute mark who has one is LeBlanc, and she's really fed. She has solid CS. She has three kills. Nobody else. Timo has a kill 80 CS, no full item. Same with Ophelios, no full item. That's the power spike of the jungler. Around the 9, 8 to 10 minute mark, junglers can normally get their jungle item. Even if they're not fed, and then they their ganks are just nasty. As long as you come up behind the enemies in a gank on cane, like I said, hold on to your W until after they flash. Or until you kind of have to use it. Because once you use it, if they flash it, then they kind of got away because it takes a second to cast. And you have to stand still is the main issue. If you didn't have to stand still, then it's whatever, but they'll juke back and forth regardless. I have my ult. I'm gonna red smite this guy, Q him, ulti. I'm not gonna bother to W, I could potentially miss it. I don't know where his mushrooms are, so I'm gonna lay pink warden back. I don't wanna run into a mushy. I have blue cane, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and lay Harold. Harold takes about two and a quarter plate. So once you have a turret down to about two and a quarter, that's about the time you wanna use it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just reset. There we go. I don't, I'm not actually going to transform into blue can. I'm going to leave it. If you end up on a form that you didn't want, because once again, range champs give you blue essence, melee champions give you red essence, then that ends up happening. You just wait it out. It's not worth it. They have, I'm going to go for Merc Treads. I think it's worth. And then I'm going to go for Black Cleaver. And then we can go either Death Dance or Steric Gauge. They have a lot of true damage. Rek'Sai has true damage. They have three ignites, which is true damage. So Rek'Sai true damage, three ignites, blue smite, vein true damage. We might go for Sterics over Death's Dance this game. Sterics is more affordable anyways. Over pushed a bit over there. We accidentally just wasted our E, that was an accident. Red King plays a lot like Warwick. If you guys like playing Warwick or Trundle, well, I should say in team fights, because Kane doesn't play like them at all early game. Kane does a lot more farming and proper pathing. Big CS lead over the Rek'Sai, and we're going to hard carry this game. Guarantee you will have the most damage on the team by the end of this. There are more aggressive aggro Kane paths you can run. More gank heavy paths, like three camp clears into gank invade. Those are a lot riskier, though. You're risking falling behind. Every every clear path kind of has its situation for sure. We took drag because we saw Rek'Sai topside. Ooh, they know I'm here. I'm going to hold on to my E, pull this out. I'm going to go. I just saw Rek'Sai top again. She killed my Scion, I believe. I see her on the minimap. A lot of times I'll see stuff on the minimap. So you guys may think I locked my camera too much, but really I'm still looking on the map regardless. She's going to lose her golems for that. She's most likely going to invade my jungle, I would imagine. I do have tier 2 boots, so I'm moving significantly faster than her. It's hard to say where she's going to go. She could just re invade my jungle. She took it last time, so she might be playing... Oh, no, she didn't. That's very good. Looks like she has red buff, but I think that's her own. Going to Q over the wall. W. He's dead. Q over the oh fucked up my Q that time. You keep can go over any small or medium wall, and that's a little too large. It's kind of any small or tiny walls. No, no medium, small and tiny. So the, this is considered a small right here, maybe a tiny. I don't know. Semantics. If you're gonna use your W on camp, just make sure you're hitting it with the whole camp with your W. Otherwise, you're just wasting mana. Auto attack Q. Kane has pretty long auto range, you can cut things out. You're canceling its autos and pulling it to where you want to go while you're doing so. Could go ahead and take golems. If we didn't go for dragons, obviously we'd have more CS than we have right now. Also, we've dealt with some Rek'Sai invades. I wish we had our second form. We'll actually back here on a second form. 
We can base, get Red Cane, come out like a monster. Phage is really, really nice on Red Cane. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It gives you a lot of movement speed whenever you do physical damage, which is really nice. Basic attacks, so oh, it's just basic attacks. That was just physical. Pretty easy to land basics though. Dealing physical damage. Dealing physical damage. So Black Cleaver's physical damage. Phage is just physical is just basic attacks. That's what was throwing me off. So right now it's basic attacks. Black Cleaver's any physical damage. It cleaves their armor and it speeds you up. That's the difference. So Black Cleaver's really where it's at. Looks like we're having a fight. I don't really wanna go for that. We already got a kill. The enemies are gonna be playing back. I might as well pull these bad boys together. Once you have full jungle item, you can take blue and gromp easily at the same time without really losing any HP. Red Cane has an insane amount of healing off of his passive. It is nearly 40% and it gets higher per level. Super, super high. E through the wall. Q vein. I still have my R. Don't really need to use it there. Just hold on to it. I want to paint that bush. Good chance there's a team or someone in it. All right, he's not in it. Ooh, that's appetizing. I missed my Q, unfortunately. Finish him off, stay on the Teemo, red smite him. Q, ulti. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Knock them all up, Q away. Bada boom. Oh, I got blinded, no. <laughs> oh, I couldn't hit the plant because I was blinded. Well played from the Teemo. Good job, Teemo. All right, we're gonna finish off our Black Cleaver here in a second. If our teammate gets that turret, I think we'll have enough gold. Could just sell my refill and wait a second on Fountain for it. Black Cleaver's just so good for Kane. Third Dragon's coming up here in a minute. I'll have time, I'll just Wolves straight into Dragon. I'm gonna have to wait for Black Cleaver. They got the turret. I don't want to sell my refill potion. I kind of want to hold on to it. A lot of times when you're on red cane, you have to be patient with your W because once again, you do have to stand still. You use it more as once they're, if they're already CC'd or if they're already committed. So if they're committed to chasing you, pop, pop, you just throw it out. But if, they, if they're not sure what they want to do and you just throw it out loosey-goosey, you're not going to land it. You need to wait until they've committed. Step up. Step up, Nautilus. Two-man knock-up. Gonna red smite knock. I mean, uh, Rek'Sai. I'm gonna ult her. I want her dead. W. Auto attack Q. Gonna eat through the wall for speed up. Gonna flash. Q. Oh, fuck. Oh, I misplayed. I had to accidentally canceled my auto attack. I queued like a fifth of a second too soon, right as my auto was about to finish. That was my bad. I misplayed that. If you can reach them with your auto, it's best to auto first, because then if you auto like this, you can still hit it with both parts of your Q anyways. You get way more damage that way. I think Vayne's gonna step up for Dragon. Uh, no, she's not. She's going to go defend her base. I have two teammates over there. They're going to draw her in. I might as well go for Dragon, though. We already have two. Interesting. When it comes to Kane, he does have a lot of clear routes. Some are better for different situations. Some are better for different elos. Do keep that in mind. Uh, he can start on virtually any camp. He can solo start red buff. He can solo start blue buff. He Ideally, uh, starting on, in terms of just clear speed, he can start on raptors and wolves the fastest out of any camp. Take them the quickest and get level two. It just depends on what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do something on him. Because realistically, he doesn't need a leash, but it's nice to have one. Just depends. A lot of different factors. Out of any champ, he probably has the most clear out options. Can take everything so quickly. Rek'Sai's gonna ult him. Yep, auto attack. 
That team mushroom just nutted on me. It's nutting on everything. W the wave. I have to back off. The reason why I didn't want to fight there is I don't have mana. Red cane is definitely needs mana. Your spells is the best part. Yeah, I'm trying to back, but the enemies just keep coming in one at a time, like those kung fu movies. We're we're getting a lot of mana back. Whenever you're in the jungle with your jungle item, you get an insane amount of mana. That's why I had like 12 per second because I was like kind of in the river jungle area. Okay, let's go for. I actually want to go Sterix. It's 400 cheaper. And like I said, they have a lot of true damage with all their ignites. With the blue smite Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai true damage, Vayne true damage to where the armor magic resist from Death Dance will only help me so much and it's also more expensive. I would rather just get Sterix Gage for now. Sterix is really good when they don't have a bunch of true damage. It gives you a lot of armor magic resist. W auto attack Q. Your Q is a weird auto attack resetter. It takes so long that by the time it finishes, your auto's always awful cooldown really. Gonna E through. If you do use the turret, you can get from one side of the wall to the other. So if you are in a hurry, you can also go over once again any tiny or small wall. You can go over with your Q alone. So it makes Kane so hard to chase. Landed it. We can't reach him with R though. Red Kane R isn't as long as blue Kane R, unfortunately. Mm, some action. I'll attack Q. I'm going to hold on to my W. It's a little bit longer of a cooldown than Q by three seconds or so at this point to where if I'm in a weird position, you're going to want to hold on to your W. It's going to be a big escape tool as you knock them all up and heal off of them. Remember, Red King has insane spell damage healing. Rex has bot side. She shouldn't be there. My smite is 760. I'll Q smite. There we go. We smite it at 700. Pretty decent. It's usually better to smite a little late than a little early. Because if you smite it early, then you're setting the objective on that tiny bit of health. Rather than late, you're still securing it. I'm going to hold on to my Q here so I can get back over the wall. If you're near a wall, you can use your W and then bada boom, Q over. They could have been watching me from that bush. It's actually a pretty high chance they were. They're freaky like that. Rek'Sai's going for her raptors. I'm going to go check it out. She might try to finish off that camp. I used my W too soon. She hadn't... She wasn't... Uh, what's the word? She hadn't committed yet and I W too soon. That was a good example of why you don't W that early. You can 1v1 anyone anyways to where if they're not dedicated to a path and you throw out a W, they're going to juke it. I broke the number one rule of Red Cane. Nearly killed him. I still have my Q. I can easily get back over. Knock her up. Get Went right away from her dagger. Oh, I actually killed me. Shit. Well played on Katarina's part. The Teemo damage and the Kata, his poison and her ignite was messing me up pretty bad there. That was a gnarly fight. We got the Vayne, but they still got our LeBlanc. I need to get up for that dragon fight. Make sure we get that dragon soul. We have enough for our, for our Sterics here in a second. Sterics is super, super good. They're diving them under turret. Scion should have definitely tanked that. Bit of a misplay. It happens. Just because your teammates make a mistake, if you, there's like no reason to type that to them. I see a lot of people in solo queue. There will be things that like don't make sense to say, but people will say it anyways. You can say it to yourself, but like saying that in chat isn't going to help your team. Now, if it's something that's actually useful, like if. You could be like, hey, Soraka, possible save your, your E for Master Yi. That way you can silence him and snare him. That's one thing. But being like, hey, you guys, in that dive, Phillies, you need to wait a half a second. Like, that's just 
don't bother doing that. It doesn't help anybody. Just annoying your teammates. Okay, we're gonna fight for Dragon. They're not really coming for it. They're not prioritizing these at all, and this is Dragon Soul. By them giving it, it's basically game over. And as it is, I could fight any two of them at the same time. Especially if I could have gotten my Sterix 800 Smite. There we go. Perfect Smite. Gonna go through all the walls. Knock him up. Q. Since he was already CC'd, landing my W was free. Great CC from the Cyanol. Even if this game was a lot closer, it wouldn't, at this point, they're in trouble. We have the Dragon Soul. Gonna knock them both up. Auto attack. R. Dodge the Rek'Sai CC. I'm gonna E straight at her. W as she's knocking me away. That way she couldn't chase. Took away her kill pressure. Ooh, she's fast as fuck. She's really quick. Thelios barely finished her off. And that's gonna wrap this up, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to play Kane consistently and how to carry on him consistently. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Keysticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.